I have a thyroid nodule. What happens next? Today we will be talking about thyroid nodules. Remember that the thyroid gland is a small butterfly-shaped organ that is located in your neck, right on top of your windpipe. Thyroid nodules are lumps that form in the thyroid and are increasingly common, even in healthy adults. A thyroid nodule found by you or your doctor needs to be evaluated. It may seem scary at first to find out that you have a lump growing in your thyroid gland, but there is no reason to panic. Naturally, most people start thinking the worst possible scenario. But remember that, in fact, most thyroid nodules turn out to be benign, non-cancerous growths. The first step will be to see your physician, who will start the process of working up this nodule. Luckily, the workup is quite straightforward. Since thyroid nodules are quite common, your primary care physician will often know who to refer you to in your own community. It is important to be seen by a thyroid specialist, such as an endocrinologist or surgeon with training in thyroid diseases. If you need to find your own doctor, remember that there is no rush, and it is best to spend some time finding the right physician, someone experienced with thyroid disease, who is part of a knowledgeable team. This will make the workup go much more smoothly. Once the physician meets you, they will look at many elements to help them decide whether or not your particular nodule is concerning. First, there will be a thorough review of information such as your age, your personal medical history, your family history, and the size and feel of the nodule. Sometimes your doctor will also order blood tests that assess the function of your thyroid. The next step will be using ultrasound to image the nodule in your thyroid. Because the thyroid is a very superficial organ in the neck, Ultrasound is very useful for accurate imaging, in most cases, much more so than fancier tests, such as CAT scans or MRIs. The ultrasound test can be done by a radiologist or endocrinologist or a thyroid surgeon, as physicians in each of these specialty areas are trained in thyroid ultrasound. It is essential to have a good quality ultrasound, as it can determine not only the size of the nodule, but also many other characteristics which are important in determining whether the nodule should be biopsied, watched, or removed. Information from this ultrasound helps your doctor categorize nodules into low risk, medium risk, or high risk for cancer. After your exam and ultrasound and talking things over with your physician, they will decide whether the nodule should be biopsied or if it can just be monitored. If a biopsy is recommended, remember that biopsy sample is a small representative sample of the millions of cells inside your nodule. While not perfect, this will give your physician a glimpse of what is going on inside your nodule. The entire biopsy procedure can be done in the office and usually takes under 20 minutes and is typically well tolerated. A very fine needle is introduced into the nodule under ultrasound guidance and cells from the nodule are aspirated. The removed cells are saved in a special fixative solution and sent to the cytology lab. The fine needle aspiration biopsy is examined by a cytologist that is a doctor who specializes in the study of cells and tissues. Typically, two to four separate biopsies of each nodule are done to ensure enough materials has been obtained for diagnosis, and the biopsy results are usually available within five to seven days. If biopsy of your thyroid did not yield enough actual thyroid cells, then the cytologist is not able to make a diagnosis and the biopsy will need to be repeated. Do not be disappointed, as this can sometimes happen. Interpreting thyroid biopsy results is not always straightforward, and since the results are not always black or white, in many cases, the results will be clear and will help guide you and your physicians about the next step. But in some cases, your biopsy may fall into a bit of a gray zone, and further discussion or studies may become necessary. Remember that understanding all the possible results ahead of time can help alleviate any anxiety about the results. The more informed you are, the better patient you will be, as you will be able to make more rational decisions and help the doctor decide what is best for you.